Hello everyone, FSG here, hope you're all doing well. I do these about once a year, but I do get a lot of requests for them on the channel, and that is, can we have a look at your setup? So I thought I'd do another run through my setup. A lot has changed in the last 12 months. I didn't think much had changed, but actually I just went back and had a look at the old video as a bit of preparation for this one, and um, I was actually surprised how much has changed and how much has moved on. So without further ado, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna have a look at uh, the setup as it is at the moment. It is due to change again. There's always changes going on. So uh, we have a, a few things planned for the setup in the next few months as well, hopefully if we can pull them off. But this is what it is like today. And this is kind of, you'll probably get an idea for my workflow as well and how I create my vids from uh, having a look at this. So let's have a look at it together and I'll uh, walk you through what's what. So the biggest change that I have made in the last 12 months is actually going to a two PC setup. We've now got a dedicated edit suite here and a capture suite. So basically we'll play on one PC. It will all be captured to this PC and we can edit, we can render, we can do all the cool stuff on this PC here. This is a big beast though. Um, I invested some serious money in this because one of the challenges I had with making my vids was that by the time I'd edited them down, to then render them out was taking an hour, potentially two hours if had a very complex vid, and it was just really tedious from a, from a time perspective. One of the other things I chose to upgrade as well was my internet connection. Um, again, one of the challenges I had was it took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on the length of the video, to upload that to YouTube in the old days. I have now got a one gig line and I can upload a vid in eight minutes. I can render a vid in eight minutes. It's honestly life-changing. When you're putting out a load of content, having stuff like that, quality of life, things like that, make a huge, huge difference. So anyway, without further ado, let's check out the PC. So there you go, we'll start with the editing PC. I'll just pan around here. We've got two MSI 32 inch curved gaming monitors. Now, um, contrary to popular belief, I do play other games, not just farm sim. So I do use this as a gaming PC sometimes. If I'm playing something like Red Dead Redemption, or something like that, this is absolutely the PC to play it on. Uh, I've got a custom keyboard there from Editor's Keys as well, with all the commands that I need for editing in Adobe Premiere Pro as well. We've got the, the Razer Nari uh, wireless headphones as well. These used to be my gaming headset. Uh, I now moved these over to my editing headset. Really, really good quality out of these. And being wireless is really, really helpful as well. Um, not particularly expensive, a Razer mouse, not one of the gaming ones, just a nice comfortable ergonomic mouse there. You can see here as well, this is the capture card, the Elgato HD60X. Now I've gone for the external card rather than one inside the PC, purely for space, which I'll touch on in a little minute when we go down and we have a look at the case. Other things to note here as well, um, we have got our loop deck here, which is fantastic for editing. You've got a jog shuttle there. You can select different programs and use all the keys uh, to help you when you're editing and things like that. A few other things as well. I have my work um, PC uh, keyboard here and mouse. Basically, I've got another couple of HDMI cables just under here, which I can plug into the two screens. So when I'm actually working on the day job, I can utilize these two screens as well using a Mac laptop. So uh, up here, just a couple of lights as well. Um, again, more work-based than anything else, but we've got the BenQ light there that floods the top of the desktop here, which is very, very helpful. Brings a whole uh, another layer of brightness to things, which is nice. Um, and these are set up for if I'm doing video conference calls and things like that, a little bit of extra light helps because it's quite a dark corner of the room. Now on the wall here, we've got my full collection of Giants certificates that I've picked up uh, with your help over the last few years, including the gold one there that arrived just a few months ago. Uh, one of 10 gold partners in the world, which is, I think, quite an achievement. I'm really, really proud of that one. So uh, thank you all. You all contributed to that. So you can all have a little bit of the uh, glory of that one as well. Okay, um, that is the editing PC up top, but the case, is down under the desk. Let's check it out. Right, there is the editing PC in all its glory. Lovely fractal design case. I really like their cases and the design of their cases. 
So I thought I'd treat myself when I got this and sorted it out. Um, what we've got inside though is a Ryzen 9 7900X 3D processor with 12 cores. Uh, we've got an MSI RTX 4090 card in there as well. You can see the size of that just down there at the bottom. We're rocking 64 gig of RAM as well. Uh, obviously liquid cooled radiator AIO setup rather than uh, a fan in there as well, just to keep the temperatures down, especially when it's rendering and things like that. Uh, even got the temperature there, just telling us how hot everything's running as well. Uh, we've also got two four terabyte NVMe drives attached to the motherboard as well, um, which means that everything that comes out of OBS can be written to those drives as fast as possible. So we've got the highest quality capture that we can out of um, our gameplay, which is awesome. I love this PC. It has been a brilliant investment. I'm so glad I did it. And, and it's made a big difference to the way I uh, edit my vids and stuff. Now, just going back to the uh, capture card. We talked about the Elgato capture card just here um, and the reason we've gone with the external one and that is because the size of the card is so massive that it covers up the other PCIe slot in the uh, in the case so uh, we can't get the capture card and internal capture card in there at the moment. Now that might change in the future depending on how we play around with the setup but for now it's working very well the quality out of the Elgato capture card is superb so we're just going to leave it as it is you know it's a good case of if it ain't broke let's not try and fix it okay that is the edit suite in all its glory like I said um, we'll move on to the gaming PC now now there we go there is the gaming PC you've probably seen this if you've watched any of the previous vids it has had an upgrade though this year We've put a faster processor in it. We've gone for a Ryzen 7 5800X 8-core processor now. So a big upgrade on what we had in there before. Running the uh, Founders Edition RTX 3070 in there as well and 32 gig of RAM. I think you find basically with playing farm sim most of the time on this machine that you don't need much more than that to play the game. Uh, the limitations are actually in the game rather than the hardware you're running when it gets to this point. So this is this is perfect for running the game. I don't need anything more sophisticated than this at the moment, and it is it runs great. I'm mean, a three-year-old PC now, this, uh, and it's running really, really well. Still, I try my hardest to keep them maintained, keep them very clean, get rid of the dust and everything, so they're pulled apart and, and hoovered and cleaned very often to make sure that they're running as optimally as possible. We've got a couple of Bluetooth dongles here, uh, one for external peripherals, and this one here is for our other headset. We've got another wireless uh, Razer headset there that we use for this um, PC as well. They seem to work really well, and I don't get tangled up in cables, which is good. Um, again, an upgrade we had last year was the Rode mic arm. Really, really nice and we're still using the Deity mic, which has not let us down at all. Now, one of the other big changes I've made recently is the inclusion of this third screen just up here. Uh, up until recently, we were running the gaming screen here, um, where we played the game when we were streaming and recording, and we had everything else running off here. We had OBS, we had Discord, we had um, browser pages if we needed to have those open, Nightbot, we used to watch the stream. Um, to make sure that everything was working on YouTube on this screen as well. Um, and it was, we just ran out of screen real estate really. So this used to be plugged into the edit suite, which is just there. Now this is plugged into the gaming PC along with this one. And this third screen that we've introduced here um, is running off the edit suite here. So we can see our OBS set up here. Look, there's me, there's the camera. Um, and then we've got Discord here so we can play things through there, especially if we're speaking to other people on a multiplayer stream, we can do that as well. Uh, everything else I think is relatively similar in terms of uh, the computer layout from what we had last year. Um, the Stream Deck down here, obviously all the controls on it here. We can even turn our, our uh, lights on here. So we're running those key lights from Elgato when we're streaming as well. They're brilliant, uh, I really like those and the fact you can control them from the Stream Deck as well is great. Uh, you can actually control them from your phone as well, which is very, very handy. Uh, we've got things like push to talk there, um, so we can mute people when uh, we're streaming as well. We can mute the mic, obviously switching between all the different scenes as well, which is great. Um, two SIM dashboards as well, very lightweight one here, just running um, fence speedos. Um, obviously got a little warning there at the moment because we haven't got the game on. 
uh, and then the second one here which is my fence screen probably the one i use the most at the moment love it to death the vehicle control add-on version as well now if i pan out slightly just here of course with my new partnership with thrustmaster we are rocking the t248 here with the farm task uh, bracket there to rotate the wheel and put it into a nice different orientation which feels a little bit more like a tractor we've got the thrustmaster pedals down there as well which work great and of course the trusty farm stick with the uh, bracket that i picked up from amazon relatively cheap now we also you'll see as well we've got a tripod here um, with a camera on it so we have got our secondary view of our farm stick when we are streaming which is um it's nice to be able to show you that and i'm glad i've got that set up it's taken a while to get that organized but it, it's there and it's in place now and uh, uh, the feedback i've had from you guys is you enjoy seeing uh, me using the farm stick when i'm playing so that's awesome just move that out of the way a couple of other things worth noting as well we've got a second mouse here that allows us to control the screen from the edit suite um, on the top there um, it is a wireless mouse um, you probably saw the charger over here actually when i was showing the uh, the Elgato before but that is the charger for that mouse so kind of handy to have a second mouse there if I want to change any of the settings in Discord or OBS or anything like that I don't have to get up out of my seat and walk over to the other PC to have to do that uh, the other thing as well here is the Thrustmaster e-swap controller as well use the controller for doing my cinematics most of the time I don't tend to use this for playing the game but again like I said it's not the only game I play, so I sometimes find myself using this for playing other games as well. Uh, really, really good bit of kit that as well. So um, there we go. A um, little couple of things just around the back here that I'll show you. First of all, as a second set of headphones, I just tuck them out of the way here when I'm using them. You can see the bracket that I've had here with the two monitors on set up. Um, and then, of course, we've got our 16 terabyte raid sitting here that uh, backs up everything that we record and makes sure that we have just everything put away and safe for when uh, the day that everything goes wrong we also have another 20 terabyte hard drive just sitting there as a secondary backup i'm a little bit paranoid so um, it just gives me that peace of mind um, so there you go that i think is the full setup. Um, I hope you like it. I certainly do. It's a treat to have all of this available to me. I've built it up over the years, gradually, bit by bit, um, and it really works for me now. Um, I think the next stage after this is probably sorting the room in general. Um, I feel a bit tight for space now. <laughs> the two desks crammed in a little bit here, so I'd love to have a little bit more space, but this is still a room uh, that the family use so uh, i don't want to uh, completely monopolize it and they can use it sometimes if they want as well now before we finish i have to touch on the uh, racing rig as well um, that is still here and i am still using it although it's a little bit out of commission at the moment uh, this all runs off a gaming uh, laptop here that i've got um, that has got an rtx uh, 3080 in it which is a great great pc uh, and does everything really well ideally I would like to run that off the faster PC with a 4090 in it. We will get around that at some point uh, when we're a little bit more organized. This is my green screen. I'm gonna put this up for you. We'll do a little time lapse of this being put up because uh, I wanna show you how quickly uh, I can put that up and down. got the nice uh, Thrustmaster T818 there, um, direct drive base, and uh, we've also got here the uh, open wheel from Thrustmaster as well, and the new load cell pedals. Thank you to the guys at Thrustmaster for sending those over. I need a bracket. I've got a bracket missing for, uh, before I can get that set up properly, but looking forward to giving that a whirl in the sim as soon as I can. Uh, the 34 inch ultra wide screen there still doing its thing as well really really good screen that um, these are nothing to do with me sadly they're monitors for the guys at work uh, i've turned into the it guy at work so um, they uh, unfortunately aren't mine to keep those uh, but 
just always stuff. Mrs. FSG is doing her head now with the amount of stuff that arrives at the house for me. So <laughs> I apologize, Mrs. FSG, it's not my fault. But there we go. That is the tour of the current setup in 2024. Like I said, I'm always tweaking it and always changing it to uh, try and optimize it. And as things change, uh, I like to upgrade stuff as well. So um, hope you enjoyed that. I love showing you around uh, the setup and you guys seem to really enjoy it as well. Uh, there is one other person in here who has been very quiet and very helpful while I've been doing this. Probably because it's the end of the day and she's fast asleep. Um, but uh, look at the state of that. You know who's the boss in this house, don't you? Anyway, um, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, we'll do another one of these if something big changes. There is something on the horizon that hopefully will get sorted in the next couple of months and I'll definitely do an update to this video. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.